increase the opportunity for people to choose to use a, an alternative mode of transportation. For some, it's not a choice. Uh, people live in places that are not served by public transportation or, or where they cannot bike safely or whatever. Uh, we need to in, improve those choices, increase the opportunities that people would have to, to make a choice to, to, to not always have to use their, their vehicle. Number two is to, is to use our energy for transportation more efficiently through various technologies especially, like hybrid electric vehicles, which we'll talk about, other things like that. And then the third is to use other forms of energy for transportation, whether that's uh, alternative fuels like biodiesel, natural gas, whatever, but also um, electricity, using more of uh, uh, power from the grid to uh, power our vehicles for um, more, more uh, efficiency, uh, uh, I mean, efficiently. So first, I'd like to talk about um, um, a little bit about some fuel-saving strategies. How many people have heard of the website called EgoDrivingUSA.org? Has anyone heard of this? Great. Okay. So a couple folks out there. Talks about um, a number of different ways. It's simply the way that, you know, in terms of the, the vehicles that we have right now, and this would, and this would apply to uh, all types of vehicles, not only personal ones. Um, EgoDrivingUSA, is, I recommend people have a look at that, um, talks about strategies of accelerating <coughs> smoothly instead of rapidly, shifting gears at uh, 1500 RPM rather than, rather than waiting until you know it's a higher RPM, uh, maintaining a, a, a steady speed, using the engine to, to help decelerate that vehicle as opposed to always slamming on the brakes as, as I want to do every now and then. Um, and then anticipating the t t traffic flow, maybe be, be being able to, to uh, uh, coast up to uh, stoplights or whatever, rather than just, you know, again, uh, go down real fast. And then finally, uh, avoid idling the vehicles. If, if you're going to be in a place where you're going to uh, be waiting for even for one minute or just a, a few minutes, instead of idling during that time, turn the vehicle off. Um, so this is easy to talk about, but it's often hard to break these habits. And what I would recommend in terms of how this might apply to your agencies is make it a challenge. Challenge drivers uh, of your vehicles to, you know, reduce fuel economy by, you know, or to uh, reduce fuel consumption, in, uh, in, um, 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 improve fuel economy by measurable, measurable amounts. Um, I didn't even, you know, even mention things like make sure that tires are properly um, inflated. There are a number of different things that people can do that we often just, uh, oh yeah, I, I know, that's important, or I can do that, but it's kind of out of sight, out of mind. You know, kind of um, educate and then set a policy and then challenge the folks <coughs> who are operating the vehicles to achieve some certain reductions. Even make it a competition if you've got more than one one vehicle operating out there, you know, make it a competition between um, between the drivers. It's estimated that these kind of eco driving practices can save, you know, at least 10%, maybe as much as 20% of the fuel that you might be using. Uh, so there's some real opportunities here uh, that we can reduce usage just through practice and behavior. But people have to be ch challenged. I also recommend, in terms of uh, information about fuel economy and how you can improve it, there's a wonderful government website that's managed by both the, uh, it's, uh, jointly managed by the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency and the Department of Energy. It's called fueleconomy.gov. Um, how many people have heard of that or visited that? It's another, I really recommend this. There's lots of information, mainly for uh, the, the uh, consumer, but also some good tips on, you know, on how you can uh, save fuel. Um, next I want to talk about idle reduction technologies. And I'm going to have to, uh, as I go through this presentation, I admit that I have not worked 